What changes things is power. Who has it and how you use it. And Jennifer knows this. Lasting change only happens when the baddies are running scared. In this episode, Lambo is using her new voice in a new platform, and she believes that she's enough, that she doesn't need to look like Kitty to have something with weight to say. Is that a radical notion? No. You know what is radical? Women just accepting what they look like. Something I was very interested in exploring is zealotry. When you get so full of like zeal for something that you are a little unregulated. Did you guys see the interview? We did. Why would you draw attention to us when there's all this violence out there? I think it's important to show somebody gaining power and her voice, but doing it imperfectly and really screwing up certain points because that happened. <laughs> it happens constantly. I'm sorry. I, I really am. We all understand that your intent was to do good. It was. She's gotten her 15 minutes, right? That's what we all think we want. She has no idea how to handle that. Like, she just makes a mess of it. Come on! I've done one interview. I wrote one blog. Yeah, and look what it did. And how many comments have you read? It's a dopamine thing. We have such a, a focus on fame in our culture, like this idea that fame is this end goal. And to me, how it changes the way people see you and how you see yourself can be super damaging. So I wanted Plum to experience this on a micro level and have that be part of the disillusionment that sends her into the next chapter. While Plum is going through her own journey, I always say that the show is about challenging the status quo in yourself, but also in the world. And all these other characters, they're all trying to create a revolution, except for people who really like the status quo. And there's generally a really, really rich people. Every man who has made something of himself is now being torn down. Because what? At a party? Maybe in an office? He actually acted, oh, like a man. I really wanted to also speak to the male experience of being in the middle of a time that's changing so fast that you don't know what the rules are anymore. I have never hit a woman in my life. Never raped anybody, no roofies, and now I can't smile at a girl. One of my other favorite characters is Dom. He's just kind of lost. He's not sure how he's supposed to act or what he's supposed to do. And um, I really wanted to send him on a journey too of like how does this movement in this moment affect you know, men who essentially see themselves as really decent. And is he decent or is he not? I think when his life doesn't go quite the way he would have liked it to and he feels betrayed by people who aren't very good people who are getting ahead, he really starts to question the value of being good. They're in the middle of a war between women and the way things have been, and it's gonna get really ugly, so they're all trying to figure out what it's all about. I did want something good, and I thought I read your signals, but it was uncool of me to assume, you know? I got the wrong message, and for that, I'm, I'm truly sorry. This episode is such a roller coaster. She starts on that high with the interview, and she gets in that fight, and is so low, and she thinks things are gonna go great again, seeing this guy, and then it just does not. That's, uh, let's just slow down okay. a little bit. Okay. It's gonna feel so good, trust me. What we were interested in getting into was that gray area. Because, you know, rape and um, assault and all these things have been so much in the public discussion, I was pushing for a scene that had all the slow motion agony of a sexual encounter that doesn't feel consensual. Does feel good? I didn't want to hurt the other person's feelings. Is a thing that I think, so, especially so many women, have consented to things or implicitly consented with things that they didn't want to have happen. Oh, that was great. And I don't think that that's just a female issue. I think it's for all of us. What we should be doing is empowering women to say, no, I don't like that more. So we stepped it out in a way that was very intentional. 